So over here you can see that I have a character and what I want to do is I want to stream it live. So to do that, what you need to do is first of all, take care of a few things. So you need to download some software and plugin in order to make that happen. So for that, what you need to do is go to a new tech's website right here and download the uh, new tech NDI for Adobe Creative Cloud, which allows you to uh, create a live stream from Adobe Character Animator. And then what you need to do is you need to download OBS uh, or you can use other uh, live broadcasters as well. But for this particular lesson, I'm, I will be using OBS, which is this software right here. So you can download this free of cost as well. And then in order for uh, linking and, and the eye with OBS, you need to go around into uh, the obsproject.com website and then go and download the OBS NDI uh, that is a new a new tech integration software uh, and install that out as well. So once you install these softwares out, then you're good to go. You can go around and then live stream your content. And in my case, I'm going to use Facebook as an example. So now let's uh, get ahead and get started uh, with the process. So in order to start the live stream process from Character Animator, what you need to do first is set it up. So what you need to do first is go into Edit and go into Preferences right here and then go into Live Output. And in the Live Output, you'll be able to see uh, that there's an option called Enable Mercury Transmit. So once you click on this, what happens is that you're allowed to choose NDI as an output option uh, once you install the NDI for Adobe Creative Cloud. If you were to go to setup right here, then it opens up the NDI right here, giving you the details over here. But I'm just going to go around and check this in. So once you check that out and press OK, what, it, uh, what you see over here is that it is already streaming uh, at this point from the software. You can disable the stream by clicking uh, over here and you don't see that it is blue anymore. But once you click on it, what happens is that it starts streaming out. So now what you got to do is you got to open up the NDI monitor software. And to do that, I'm just going to go around into start menu and then open this out. So once you install the NDI software, what happens is that you get access to the studio monitor right here. So I'm just going to go around and click on uh, studio monitor just like this. And what happens is that you get this window just like this. So on the top left hand side, you can see that I have the menu. So I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to go around onto my desktop name right here. And then I'm going to choose Adobe Character Animator. So now what happens is that whatever you see over here on the uh, character animator project is what you see right here. So let me just go around and put this aside so that you can see both of them. So if I were to go ahead and then use uh, it to walk and so forth away with the hands, you can see that you see the same thing up over here again. So that's it for the NDI. You can just minimize that out. And now the other step that you need to do is go around into OBS, which is the broadcasting software uh, that I'm using. So what you can do is you can click on uh, the add button. So I'm on scene one. I'm going to click on add. And once you install the uh, uh, NDI plugin for OBS, again, you'll be able to see the NDI source right here. Simply click on it and press OK. And what happens is that you can go ahead and select your Adobe Character Animator desktop right here. And then it'll pop up right here. So once you do that, you can just press OK right here. And then you can see that now the Character Animator is in OBS as well. So if I were to go into Character Animator, uh, use the right arrow key, left arrow key, you can see that uh, the same thing happens over here in OBS as well. So in order to start live streaming on Facebook, what I need to do is I need to get the uh, stream key from Facebook the live page right here. So on the live page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stream key right here. And then I'm going to simply copy out the stream key from the page right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to OBS over here and then I'm going to go to settings and then I'm going to go to stream right here. And then I'm simply going to paste the stream key right here, just like this and press apply and press OK. So in order to start streaming from OBS, I'm simply going to click on start streaming now and it'll start sending the feed 
uh, from OBS to Facebook. So I'm just going to minimize this out now. And if you were to go over here, now you can see that on my Facebook page, you see the character just like this. So now what I can simply do is uh, if I were to press the play button, I'm not actually live streaming this, but now you can go ahead and click on go live to actually start out. You can go around and move the character right here. It actually does take a bit of time for the movement to actually seem right here. So it might take even 30 seconds, depending on like how long it takes to process out everything right here. But that is how it actually works like. So uh, now you can see that whatever movement I do right here is being sewn up right here. And once you go live, what happens is that all of the things that you do right here onto the character right here, uh, what will happen is that it will be seen by the other people uh, live. So what you can do is you can go around and use the uh, camera, uh, uh, the uh, camera uh, detection option to actually go around, make the character talk and everything right there and do the live feed just like that. And that is how you can work around uh, well, with the live option inside of character animator and by using different softwares. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.